There's nothing quite like turkey hunting. It teaches patience, strategy, and woodsmanship. Sitting there in the early morning hours, your heart pounds with anticipation as the woods come alive and you hear that first gobbler sound off on the limb. As the sun rises, the sound of wings gliding through the timber can be heard, and you know it's time to try and call that gobbler into range. But turkey hunting isn't just about the harvest. It's about the connection with nature. It's about the time spent with friends and family. It's about making memories in God's creation that will last a lifetime. You know, turkey hunting is really just a part of who I am. Uh, I remember that very first turkey hunt that I had. You know, my dad took me and uh, I remember going out, sitting on his lap. It was actually on our home farm, uh, which today you know means a lot to me. And he had an old box call and started yelping on that thing. And we had, a, I believe it was four or five Jakes come in right away to the decoys. and. You know, we had old foam decoys back then. I can't believe how far things have come looking back, but uh, it worked and man, them, them Jakes came right in. And I remember being so nervous, uh, just sitting there shaking on my dad's lap that I couldn't even hold the barrel steady enough on that gun to make a, an ethical shot. And we ended up watching them turkeys walk away. And man, I sat there, I was super bummed. And heck, I might even had a few tears rolling down my face. I don't know, I just felt like I kind of let my dad down, but. You know, he was there to pick me up and uh, I knew it wasn't gonna be my last opportunity. Shortly after that, maybe a week or so later, uh, my grandpa wanted to take me out and uh, he took me to one of his spots, uh, a place that I can still hunt today and uh, actually harvested a turkey there uh, just last year. But uh, man, we got there and he had an old box call, which I still have today and I still use today. And we, we snuck in the woods and he let out a few yelps on that thing, and about 200 yards away or so, three toms lit up. And uh, man, I had a big smile on my face, and we got set up against a big cottonwood tree there, and I remember tucking in tight to him, and, and him kind of talking me through the process, and he put one single hen decoy up, and that's all we needed, probably about 15, 20 yards away, and you know, he started calling a little bit more, and it wasn't very long, and I could hear strutting wings coming through the woods, I could hear that spitting drum, and uh, they got close, and I remember them gobbling one time really close. Man, that made the old heart beat. And I knew I needed to stay calm though and, and make this one happen. And here they come, come right into that decoy. I remember raising my gun up and saying a little prayer and pulling the hammer back and squeezing the trigger. And that bird flopped right there. My first turkey's on the ground. From that moment on, I was a turkey hunter. You know, since that very first turkey hunt, turkey hunting in general has just really become a tradition in my family. I've made a lot of awesome memories over the years with family and friends. And here in recent years, uh, I've been able to be fortunate enough to work with Henry Repeating Arms on a lot of different hunting projects. And man, when I started looking up their lineup of different guns and saw that they had single shot shotguns, I was super excited. Man, I grew up on a single shot shotgun. My dad uh, gave me one as a kid and I did a lot of upland hunting with it. I turkey hunted with it and he always taught me that using that single shot would train me to make a good shot the first time. You know, you only got one shot on board. And I was really excited to get a, a Henry in my hands to bring back a little bit of that nostalgia of my youth and do a little turkey hunting with a single shot. You know, one of the very first turkey hunts that I did with one of the Henry single shot shotguns was probably the most memorable actually, uh, something I never thought would happen. Uh, went out to one of the farms that I had to hunt at the time and uh, there was a ton of turkeys on it. I mean, this farm was unbelievable as far as turkey go, turkeys go. I remember driving into the property and there were several different groups of birds out in the field. And I made a few different moves, kind of slipped around, got down to creek bottom and, and got on the backside of this open field where I thought I could maybe have a chance to call these couple gobblers out. And uh, started calling a little bit and man, they were fired up right away. And I actually was able to pull them off their hens, which is something that you know, during the peak time of the breeding season is, is not an easy thing to do. And these two toms just come running in and they were mad, they were ready to fight, come into the decoys. And uh, I remember you know, being pretty excited about that, got my hammer back and uh, shot the first one. And uh, he just dropped, flopped right away. And the other one actually kind of just jumped and ran out. And I'm thinking to myself, man, 
I've got two tags here, and this other one's staying around. He actually come back and tried to beat up that turkey that I had just shot. And I was really excited about that. I'm thinking, man, I might be able to get a double with a single shot here. And uh, quickly just kind of opened up, tried to be quiet, grabbed another shell out of my pocket, got it in there, and was able to get a double with a single shot. One of the very first hunts with a Henry. And uh, it was a memory I definitely won't forget and probably a turkey hunt that's gonna be really hard to beat. So after a few years of successful turkey hunts with the single shots, uh, this past year, I really wanted to try something different. And I've always thought the Henry X Model 410 would be a fantastic turkey shotgun. The only problem is there just really hasn't been a great option for two and a half inch 410 turkey loads. So uh, I started doing a little research and I found a couple companies that were actually making some custom TSS loads for two and a half inch 410. I thought, this is it, it's time. It's time to break this thing out and do a little turkey hunting with it. And I didn't really know how it was gonna go. I thought, man, two and a half inch, that's a small shell. It is TSS. You know, I've shot three inch uh, TSS out of a 410, does fantastic. Really didn't know how the two and a half inch would go. And man, I was shocked. Uh, turned that Henry X model into a 40 yard gun and I was ready to rock and roll and hit the woods and see if we couldn't put a turkey down with this Henry X model. Well, Henry family, <laughs> here he is, dead bird. Man, that little two and a half inch shell did a number. Very, very impressed. I mentioned before that turkey hunting has become a family tradition. I became a dad a few years back and the Lord blessed me with two beautiful kids. My daughter Reese, who is now four, and my son Wyatt, who's 18 months. As I sit here reflecting back on all the memories made growing up in the turkey woods and how it taught me patience and understanding and woodsmanship, I can't help but get excited to pass down this way of life to my kids. I know one thing's for sure, I'll be passing down a Henry shotgun. And someday when I'm gone, they can keep the turkey hunting tradition alive by passing it on to the next generation. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out an old pen And wrote something for me He kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine Yeah.